So number 13 then from paper one of the 2019 National Five, a little trig graph. Oh, some of you just love those, don't you? Now, it gives the equation of the graph here. It says it's a cosine graph, and you can see there's something wrong with it. It's gone off to one side. And what it wants to know is what are the coordinates of that turning point there, that minimum turning point? What are the coordinates of A? Well, the normal cosine graph should start at the top, start at 1, go down and come back up by 360. Up to 1, down to negative 1. If this has got a 3 in front of it, it means this is really going from negative 3 up to 3. The other thing in a normal cosine graph is, it should hit the middle, it should be down at the lowest, at 180. This has been shifted back. It's been shifted back by 45 degrees. So at this point here, that should be 180 minus 45, which is 135 degrees. So that means the coordinates of A are going to be now let's get this right this time. The coordinates of A are going to be the distance along first, which is an angle. So that will be 135 degrees. And then the Y coordinate down the way, which takes you all the way down to negative 3. Number 14 then. What have we got here? An equation. A little equation, it's just a linear equation, there are no squares in it, but it's got fractions in it. So you don't want those fractions. You don't want to be carrying fractions about. Get rid of them. Find something that you can multiply every term by that will absorb those denominators. And don't just try to say, I'll do 2 times that and 5 times that, cross multiplying, because of this extra term. If there were only two terms, you could do that but not when there's three terms. Well, two and five both divide into 10. So 10 times everything. Right, 10 times this, divide by the bottom. Two into 10 goes five. Five times the top, five X. Now don't just miss that one over because it doesn't have any fractions there. It's also 10 times this one, which is 10. And then divide by the bottom is two. So it's two times this. You could go straight in with it. So it's 2 times the 3 minus x. Of course, now it just means I have to write the whole thing again. 2 3s are 6, minus 2x. Right, now sort the knives and forks and spoons into their respective places. Keep the x's on this side. Bring the 2x over as a plus 2x. Keep the 6, it's on the right side. Bring the 10 over to join the 6. It was take away, so now it's add. Finally tidy it up. There's 7 for the x's. That comes to 16. So x is 16 upon 7. I suppose that's a wee bit of a disappointment. It makes you go back through that and check it a few times because you'd like that to be a nice wee number, wouldn't you? But that's what it is. Number 15. The last question in the paper then. Well, if we go, a ball is kicked from a cliff top, follows a parabolic path. There's your parabola. It's a parabola question. It's quadratics. The height h is given by this expression here, 12t minus 5t squared. Calculate the height of the ball after two seconds, just for one mark. Well, if t is two, that means you just put two into that formula. So it'll be 12 times the two minus five times the two squared. So that'll be 24 minus 5 times 4. I'll spell it out. Even though I've got it right all again, minus 20. So that's 4 metres. Now in part B, it now shows you a graph of the path followed by the ball of its height after a certain time. I should have had T and H there. 
The sea is 17 metres below the cliff level, so that's why it's a negative. And it says, after how many seconds will the ball hit the sea? Now, after how many seconds? It doesn't say how long will it take from kicking. There's a little bit of ambiguity. It's, it's like that last question with the locker, the wording here. After how many seconds will the ball hit the sea? It's just the way that's been worded. Does that mean after these two seconds? Again, it's just a case I'll just cover myself at the end. Because immediately you just think, well, how long does it take to hit the sea? But it doesn't say how long does it take. It says after how many seconds? So possibly is it how many seconds after these two? Because that was there at two seconds. You know it's on the way back down because you know these values here. If you wanted to, had asked this, when was it level with the cliff? Then factorising that would give that answer. Factoring the, factorising that equal to zero. And taking the t out, you'd have had 5t minus 12 is zero. So t is 12 upon 5, which is 2.4. So that's 2.4 seconds there. So obviously it went up to 4 metres, back down to 4 metres, and then it carried on. So when it says after a minute, I'm just going to interpret it as this remaining portion of the time. But anyway, the first thing you're going to do is, when does the height get to negative 17, no matter how that's interpreted? So I've got to solve this. Negative 17 is 12t minus 5t squared. It's a quadratic, bring it all over to one side. 5t squared minus 12t minus 17 is 0. So there's that quadratic to be factorised. You probably know that as a trinomial, simply because it's a quadratic with three parts in it. Right, factorising it, well, 5 is easy because it's prime, so it's 5 times 1. So it's 17 easy, it's 1 times 17. But they have to have a difference of 12. 5 and 17, so don't touch the 17 with the 5, so put the 17 there, and the 1 there. Then, it's meant to be negative, so the 17t can be negative, and the outer product can be positive. And that gives you two answers. That means t is either equal to 17 upon 5, or t is equal to negative 1. Well, negative 1 represents time going backwards in this curve, so I'm not interested in that. So that means I'm using that one. So t is equal to 5 into 17 goes 3, remainder 2, 3.4 seconds. Give the reason, t is greater than 0. Now, if that's the answer, then it would get marked there. However, I'm going to say i.e. the ball hits the seat, Three point four minus two, which equals one point four seconds. Being at four meters, just in case that is the interpretation when it said, after how many seconds will it hit the sea? It took two seconds to get to here, and then another one point four seconds to hit the sea.